The Super 6 tournament has seen everything from knockouts to controversial decisions. Disqualifications. Fight's over. You lose by disqualification. To all-out wars. Yet two things have remained constant. The hometown fighter has always won, and no one has won back-to-back -back fights. Tonight, Andre Ward enters the ring as the new favorite to win the tournament. Can he follow up his domination of Mikkel Kessler with another victory and secure his spot in the semifinals? Or will Dark Horse Alan Green bring his hunger and punching power to Ward's hometown and become the first fighter to win on the road, blowing this tournament wide open? Even in a competition that's seen everything as stage two comes to a close, surprises are the only thing that's guaranteed. World Boxing Club, the remaining group stage. I don't think it's time for the trophy case yet. We have a lot of work still to be done. I read an article on Vernon Forrest years ago, right before I turned pro, and he said uh, he finally got a title shot after seven years, and I was like, but when you're that good and you have that kind of style work, I'm gonna blow this kid out of the water. And I will shock everybody when I win the whole thing. A couple of pounds and that treatment, he is to both of you. Ward was able to use it effectively that Antonio. And I didn't that punch out of got caught with a short jab. And early in this fight, Ward told us that in desperation, allowing Andre Ward, they think, to use his head. Let him seconds remaining in the first, scheduled for 12 3. Stop at the bell! Professional career. Hands are free, hands are free, gentlemen. For the fact you may not feel it for a couple rounds after that should follow. Last fight, Alan Green had who was a crafty a switch hitting as a lefty. Get started that, and mix it up. You said it might take a couple. And you've got to punch some. You're going to come here to and beat him. You've got to throw a punch. Or standing right in front goes to the <laughs> by virtue of A. Taylor having to withdraw after his no, left hooking. Both fighters starting to warm up. Friends in business. Forward to seeing you on September 25th. Champion, son of God in the blue and white. Alan Green, the challenger. Take for Alan Green to win. I didn't like the fact. And, and was really taking it mentally, Dan. I don't know if it's boasters. I don't mind a guy talking trash, but you got to back it up. Fight, I'm going to be fighting on the inside. Andre Ward, toughness. And uh, that's the part that I thought. Terrific looking inside fighting by Ward. Look at him. Step over. The last time we saw him against Kessler. It really is. And, you know, let's remember so while there's always there waiting. But you can't read his left hand especially. And there's Alan Green ripping an uppercut. But most of the good work like that. He didn't perform up to the level that he thought he would. And the green jab, there it is, has been for the most hard absent. Four inches. 75. You guys are not clear. Nice right hand. Andre Wolf. Left hook, right hand. And you know what it is? It seems as if Alan Green... Green went down to 166 pounds. Did he drain himself by going too far down? I know it's... Emmanuel Stewart even admits oh, acknowledged by Ward. That hurt. Going to rush in the eye. He knows. Stop at the bell. Let's go. <laughs> Left hook. But then keeps talking to him. Coming in, trying to play some mind games. Ward quickly starts out. Going. Become only the third. Tommy Morrison fighting for that world title in 1993. <laughs> No, Alan Green is Alan Green is once lead left to get the hooking contest. Green. Uh, he, that's the nature of what he does. Nice. And that's just not gonna get it done. He gotta let his hand numbers before. It's a lot about volume in this. We've seen it before. Five seconds to go. By War. Steve Kim and Max Green from the sweep. Ooh, nice left hook. Ward has won the battle of the jabs. Green's chances. Left hook, right hand by War. Second. Guaranteed us that they're make quit. Well, he said he may panic a part statement and given to those kind of statements, but right now. You know what, Al? Nice. He actually said. Oh. Showing a multitude of skills. Oh. Right hand.
right hand. That point on, later on, and there's the combination punching by Green, and then he drove him. He's a sitting duck right here. He has his feet parallel. He can't generate any power. He may not get no time before this fight is over. And it's happening right now with war in his career by an upper. Here in Oakland, one of the heavier shots. Guys, watch your feet. For the anything. That killer instant. And he's not a giant puncher. Nice jab. Lead uppercut. And uh, Ward, he had an uppercut. Now he changes the south. And when he turns south, a traditional lefty. Now he's back to right. He throws power punches when he goes to the left-handed stance. Now Ward's angry with this. This goes to show you that that amateur box. With what we've seen tonight is stuck with Ray Leonard. Combination punch. Ward has landed a lot of left hooks, but also superb right hands. That was a lead right hand. And Alan Green with his left hand low and his head way up. Uh, 12 round matches. Green. But he needs to let his hands go with all the champion. Six. As Virgil Hunt. Short jab. Your eyes off the way. He's just stopped trying right now. And uh, based on points. Three points for three points. But you want all those points. Ward really loading up on his ropes. A trap that he's in right now. Link. Really not by fighting by Ward. Alan Green. Rounds scheduled for 12. I wrinkled tonight. By Back at this tape. Fight. Even though he's a puncher. Shows up that showed up against Carl Frost. I mean, holding it's been You know, like I said, right now. And fight him inside from the very beginning. Hands Fritz. Ooh, nice right hand. Bob now. He's tough. Ooh, beautiful right hand by Ward. He doubles it up. So does this right hand by Ward always first. Left hook, right hand. You know, Andre Ward is here against Alan Green. Close that hand, baby. Close that hand. Soft. Go down and turn. Jim Gray, he's coming out and he's handling his business. Are you surprised? And up until now, what is it that you have learned most? That he's keeping that in the bend on the ropes. Corner, Virgil Hunter, and he is just beating the bricks under the championship round. First, go hard inside. And this is a way to get there after 10 Against Miranda. Think about a bully. 123 to go. Ward against Alan Green. Green needs to still fight because he's green, and that's exactly what been beating him from the very beginning. Green has even won two rounds. Ward up top using those shows. Uh, every minute of every ball. Ward Ooh, coming. Team. Trainer and, and and around with the WBA super middleweight time. Does his ability. Taking away his length. He's not throwing anything. As Green continues that's throwing over. No one can beat me in this tournament. He un un for uh, Alan Green. He's got a